I'll go and dive straight to the API side, source inspector rotating equipment. So if you go to API CP program and then, you know, uh, scroll down on this window and then click on API source inspector rotating equipment, you'll see this page. Now, just a quick brief of this page. This is a schedule and fees. Um, so you can look for it uh, when the site is held and what are the fees, what is the recertification fees, what is the rescheduling fees in case you fail or you can't attend the exam, what is the exam window and uh, um, how to apply for it, which would uh, you need to put in your certification, your experience and your references and pay the fees. So I think it's $415 and how the exam is scoring down, frequently asked questions. And uh, then you can also find the inspector here. And you can do this exam in person or remote. Uh, remote means that if you select this button, then at the time of uh, registering and selecting a slot, uh, there would be same requirements, but you should have a laptop like myself and with a, a camera and audio. So somebody is watching you throughout the exam. And you can do it from the comfort of your home or your office. But there are the same requirements apply. You're not allowed to leave the room without permission uh, from the invigilator. And you have to show your ID. It should be valid. It should be a government issued, like a passport, driving license, um, and etc. So the qualification, if you see here, it says any experience in the petroleum industry. Uh, petrochemical industry. Um, so there's not much much of requirement here for API side. So if, look guys, this is, um, I'm going to give you some tips. So what is this API side? It's a unique certificate. There's no lookalike in the board. For example, if you are a welding inspector, you can do CWB, the Canadian CWI, the American, or C Suite, the British, or uh, other certifications. If you are want to be a painting inspector, there are different accreditation societies like NACE, uh, again, British Gas, C Suite, etc., or Frosio. If you want to uh, do, say, NDT, there is ASNT, there is ISO 9712. PCN, there is a lot of this, but this is a unique certificate. So it's a very powerful certificate uh, and it's gaining uh, a lot of attention in the industry. Now, what is this about? You're actually, as an API size source inspector rotating equipment. So your scope of work would be pumps, gears, compressors, tur and turbines, obviously rotating equipment. And you would be actually acting on behalf of purchaser or the client, okay? So at the end, what is your job is that to examine fabricated manufactured equipment and make sure the supplier is actually establishing or implementing the quality management system that they, they have uh, pledged and committed to do so. So at the end of the day, the client gets uh, the equipment the equipment as expected, okay? Um, so let's see what is this exam is about. It's uh, three hours, 15 minutes long, 100 scored question, 10 non-scored question. So I need to explain this, what this means. Firstly, I wanna tell you how the API set the exam. That is for all the API course uh, certifications. What they do is initially they do a job analysis, for example, in this case, uh, in order for you to can do justice to this, your scope of work, that means examine and manufacture fabricated equipment and make sure the vendor is actually implementing, you can verify that is quality management system, what you should need to know, okay? And the uh, items that covers is pumps, gears, compressors, turbines. So, those job analysis or job description, uh, typical one is looked at and based on that, they say, okay, in order for you to do the job, what you need to know. So, and then based on that, the publication effectivity sheet is um, set out and uh, the exam question also is based on that. So for example, as an API side, 
source inspector rotating equipment. You don't need to be a painting inspector or welding inspector or ND examiners, but you are going to supposed to read uh, to to review the all these records, the weld record, the paint record, the ND record, and uh, the material test certificates and lots of other things. Okay, so the knowledge you have should be very basic and sufficient to be able to do that. So you should know what is in a coating record, for example, or an ND record or an RT report, what you need to see there. But you don't need to like be an ND examiner or level two or level three, okay? So you should know the basics of all this. So what they do is they give you 110 question, 195 minutes, they shuffle the question so you don't know which one is scored is not, or which one is not. So 10 of them are not scored, but you have to answer all of them. And if you go uh, like using the bathroom or drinking water or do whatever you want. The minute the exam starts, the clock keeps ticking. So once the, your time is up, regardless whether you answered or not, your exam is up. So the best thing is you sort of pace your exam. Um, so you got roughly one and a half minutes per question. Uh, there would be a timer on the top, normally, right hand side of the screen that say how many questions you attempted, how many minutes left. Um, so you do the calculation. Um, so, so every hour on average, you should do say 40 questions, okay? And it's a closed book, it's a multi-choice and there is no negative marking, okay? And roughly you should make 70%, um, you, you will pass, um, okay. Um, having said that, the reason is they do the pre-test question is that these questions are experimental questions. So once API design a question by a subject matter expert or a specialist is checked by three other experts from the point of view that whether the question is um, clear enough and whether the question is relevant to what an API site inspector need to know. So once that's done, that is uh, used as an experimental question every time and once uh, it's not been challenged by candidates or enough number of candidates um, have answered it, it's not too easy, it's not too difficult, um, then it would be transferred into permanent set of questions, scored questions. 